It's like when you're an adult, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're adulting. I'll let you think about that one for a second. Hey, it's HJ. All right, so recently I just turned 23 years old, and even though I've been on my own since I was 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, plus three, that's seven years, I've been on my own for seven years. I have really, as of recently, maybe it's because I got married also, been feeling that weight of like, girl, you better get it together. It's time to learn how to adult for real, for real. You know what I mean? So I put a little list together, it's a little checklist on how to adult well, how to be a good adult, just how to, just how to adult, how to do it, how to win at life. In no order of importance, by the way, if you can help it, if you look, you're driving the car, and you look down, and you're about half a tank, you're thinking to yourself, I'm still at half a tank, I'm good, let's keep rolling, I know my car, I know my car. Next thing you know, you're on freaking E, don't worry, I know my car. The next thing you know, you're me, and you're driving on the freeway, and you're having to pull off on the next exit because your truck has run out of gas. That was me at 18 years old. On the side of the freeway, calling my stepdad to come, please bring me some gas. You see yourself at half a tank? Okay. But once you see yourself at a quarter of a tank, stop playing games with fate. Put some gas in your tank. Because adulting, that's why. All right, part of being an adult, you may hate me for this, you may thumbs down me for this one, but I think part of being an adult is learning that leggings are not pants. No, they're not. Now, with the exception of you wearing a long shirt or a dress that covers your butt cheeks, because I know you know this, but when you wear leggings and you don't wear anything that covers your booty, it's pretty much like you're naked. Everybody can see all of the junk in the trunk. And that's just not how good adulting goes. I love me some leggings, don't get me wrong. I get it, nobody wants to wear pants. I hate pants. Let's just all be nudist, but we can't do that. Tie a little uh, flannel around, keep it hip if you must, but just cover them booty cheeks up. That's what like little high schoolers do because they wanna walk around and flaunt it and they want everybody to stare at them. Speaking of everyone staring at you, my next point would be actually thinking about other people as much or maybe even more than you think about yourself. Now for me, this one hit me. This is actually the one that made me want to do this vlog via help from my friend Abby. But I was like, dang, that's so true. Like in this season of my life, especially being a new wife, that means I have a whole new set of family members and they're Mexican, so there's a lot of them. And our neighbor is our grandma and grandpa. So people are always coming through, always around. And just thinking about other people, like celebrating other people's lives when it's their birthdays, getting them a card, getting them flowers, caring about other people's needs, inviting other people over. If you, somebody, this is so random, if somebody has been through a medical emergency or a surgery or some kind of trauma in their life, cooking them a meal and bringing it to them so that they don't have to get up and feed themselves. What? My church is so good at this. We call it a meal train. If you've never heard of a meal train, you're missing out, okay? I'm just waiting for the day that I pop a baby out and it's my turn to be on the other end of that meal train. We take care of the people around us. Think of other people. Just think of other people. That is adulting win right there. When you're young and you're in high school, it's all about you. It's all about the selfies. That's another one, selfies. I didn't even have that one on the list, but that's a good one. Minimize the selfies. I'm not, I'm not hating on the selfies. I love a good selfie or two, but every picture of you cannot be a selfie. Come on, guys. With the exception of being like a makeup guru. I can't think of anything else. Hair guru, maybe? Like if that's your job to take selfies, like if that's how you make your income. It's just really not that attractive whenever you click on somebody's profile, Instagram, Twitter, and every picture is like seven different versions of them in that moment. Is this kind of harsh? I'm not trying to be harsh, y'all. I'm just trying to tell you what I've learned. I'm just passing it down to the youngins. Oh no. <laughs> okay, this is a good one, this is a good one. Just because we have the ability to do something doesn't mean that we always should. That's not one that people really talk about much, think about much, but just because you 
can doesn't mean you should. And I'll just let that marinate with you. I don't necessarily need to like elaborate on that one, but I think part of being a good adult is not taking every opportunity to get everything you want and do everything for yourself all the time. <sighs> I'm so selfish. I'm really just telling this all to myself. Oh, this is a good one. Part of being an adult is owning a plant. What? A plant? Yes. You ever walk into somebody's home and you see they have a plant or two and they just, they just feel like they got their life together. Like, dang, okay, you're keeping something alive. Good for you. That's adulting. You remember to water that every day. You remember to put it by the sun, sing to it. They say if you sing to plants, they grow. Scientific. Having a house plant just kind of feels like adulting to me. Ooh, this is a good one. A piece of good adulting is to be on time. Be on time. I suck at being on time. This kind of goes with caring about other people around you, but it also goes with if you don't have the self-control to get yourself out of bed with enough time, to get ready for your day, to care about life, just getting out of bed, getting where you need to go on time matters because it matters for you personally and then we go back to that whole caring about other people thing. If you had a meeting for 5 o'clock and you show up at 5.20, that gets a little annoying after the third time. Okay, do your thing. But yeah, being on time is, is a good part of adulting. Are you writing this down? Make sure you're writing this down. This is, this is, this is gold right here. This is gold. Alright, this is a good one. Paying bills. Pay bills. Move out. Live your own life. Maybe start a family. A big part of adulting, I would say, put your phone down and look at other people and engage in conversation with them. Look at them in their eyes. If I were to ask you right now, five of your top friends, what are their eye colors? Would you be able to tell me accurately? Just, just wondering, just wondering. Maybe I could, maybe I couldn't. You never know, you will never know. <laughs> but seriously, like have real conversations with real people around you. Get to know them, ask them what are your hobbies? What do you wanna do with your life? Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? What kind of people do you like to be around? What, you, just, what is your favorite cookie? You know why I wanna know? Cause I wanna make you cookies cause I wanna care about you whenever you're on the other end of that meal train. Ask questions, get to know people, get to know people for real. For real, for real, for real, for real, for real. For real, get to know people. It matters so much because I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen to our generation. We're gonna sit here on our phones and in 10 years we're gonna look up and we're gonna realize we don't really know anybody. And that's scary. We don't really know anybody like face to face. Soul to soul, skin to skin, eye to eye, heart to heart, hug to hug, kiss to kiss. And not just because of other people, but it enriches you as a human being. And my eyes are starting to hurt staring at a screen all the time. I already need glasses and I had perfect 2020 vision. What's up with that? Hmm? All right, you're not gonna like this one. I frankly don't like this one, but part of being a good adult is actually eating food that is nutritious for your body. We can't eat McDonald's every day now, people. We're 20 plus years old. We gotta get it together. We gotta eat greens. You don't like vegetables? My husband hates vegetables. Oh my gosh, trying to get him to eat vegetables is like, I can't even think of a simile horrifying enough as to what it's like to get my husband to try to eat vegetables. Literally the only vegetables he will eat is potatoes. I'm like, that don't count. It's a starch. Eat something green. He will only eat salad because he wants to eat ranch. Does that make sense? He's actually eating more ranch than he is a salad. This is not good, this is not good. What am I gonna do one day when we have little kids and I'm like, come on little babies, eat your green beans. And they're like, daddy doesn't eat his green beans. And he says he doesn't have to eat green beans so I'm not gonna eat them either. Care about your body, exercise, eat healthy. That doesn't mean you have to be the world's most fit woman. It doesn't even mean you have to be skinny. That's not what I'm saying at all. Just be healthy, like feel like you can walk up 10 stairs without being incredibly winded and want to sleep for two hours. Cause that's me for sure. Every time. And I live in a two story house. <laughs> we can do it guys. I believe in us. I believe in us. I believe I can fly. I believe I can search the sky. Think about it every night and day. If you 
liked the Help to Adult 101, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, share the video with your friends, and comment below if you have any more great ideas on how to be a good adult. Please let me know. Make sure to comment below if you have any good ideas. If you just absolutely hated the tip, one of the tips that I have given you, comment below too. Tell me why you don't think it should be on the list. And I'm pretty sure I'm about to see like 90% leggings, candy pants comments, which I will stand my ground on. I will disagree to the grave because I don't want to see your booty. I don't care how big or little or thick or juicy or skinny or fit or whatever. I don't, I don't want my husband to see it. That's we're married. Don't do that to him. Don't do that to him. <laughs> uh, okay, for real, I love you guys. And until next time, if you have any video ideas for me, like do a video about this, talk about this, la 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 la, make sure to put that in the comments below too. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You guys are great. You guys are the bomb. I love you. And I'll see you later.